Europe in the year 1200 was a tough and dangerous place. Society was strictly divided into social classes. This system was called feudalism, and it governed the relationships between a lord or landowner and his servants. Wealthy and powerful noblemen called lords fought each other for control of the land and the people who lived on it. A lord's strength depended on his ability to defend his land and his property. To do so, he needed two things, a castle and an army. The best sites for castles were high on a mountain or on the banks of a river or atop a rocky cliff. Attacking a castle built in one of these locations was difficult. There was usually only one direction from which you could approach a castle, and that side was carefully guarded. For extra insurance against attackers, a trench with water, called a moat, might surround the castle. Watchtowers manned by armed soldiers were built at intervals along the outside wall. The stone walls ranged from 12 to 20 feet thick. Inside these defenses were the courtyard, some smaller buildings, and the Lord's castle, called a keep, because the noble and his family were kept there. Life inside the castle, even during peaceful times, was anything but luxurious. After all, defense and safety were the main considerations. Comfort took a back seat. The building itself was cold and drafty. An army of servants was needed to keep warm fires going 24 hours a day. There were only a few actual bedrooms. The Lord, his family, and often his servants shared one bedroom. Toilets were built into the outer wall and might end in a ditch or the moat. The kitchens were just a group of sheds in the courtyard. Food was unlikely to arrive hot at the table after being carried through the open air and up the drafty staircases. The center of activity in the castle was the Great Hall a large open room where family and guests gather to conduct business or eat and relax. A chapel where the household could attend mass reflected the importance of the Catholic Church during the Middle Ages. Feudalism influenced every aspect of life in the Middle Ages. Under feudalism, the noblemen who owned the land owned the common people called peasants who lived on the land. The noblemen made all the laws and settled disputes, usually in the castle's great hall. Peasants worked the land for the Lord and in return were allowed to keep a little food for themselves. They also received the protection of their Lord's army. These medieval armies were composed of soldiers called knights, some of whom were land-owning noblemen themselves. Knighthood was a great honor, and there were two ways to achieve it. You could inherit the title from your father, or you could work your way up. Either way, men trained for knighthood from the time they were young boys. A future knight learned to ride a horse, and he learned the rules of chivalry, including skill in arms, loyalty to his lord, generosity, courtesy, and service to God. At around age 13, he joined a noble's house as a squire, where he learned to use weapons and to care for horses and armor. Around the age of 20, the squire became a knight. During the 15th century, the Middle Ages gave way to the Renaissance, a rebirth of intellectual activity that led to new ideas about government and the role of the church. 
feudalism collapsed and the age of chivalry and shiny knights became the stuff of legend. 